Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a quick little video to show how important it is to have stir images. Some places I read for don't have stirs, just T1 and T2s, and um, now I realize that uh, stirs are pretty important. So this is an example. A patient had pain in the back for a few months, no history of prior injury, just back pain. And on the T2s uh, here, things look pretty doggone good. I would not call much at all here. So we put up our T1-weighted images just to make totally sure not missing a small disc herniation or something subtle. All the foramina look good. Central canal looks good. Everything looks pretty doggone good. So about to call it normal and put up the stirs just to make totally sure everything's fine. And on the stirs, we do see that they have some bright signal right here. It catches the eye. So they don't have a pars defect down here, but there's a stress reaction or non-displaced pars uh, fracture back over here, a little bit of edema in that uh, transverse process right there on the left. And on the right hand side you can see probably a little parse defect right there, just barely discernible. So I think there's a fracture, or a non-displaced parse fracture or stress fracture um, on the right with edema going through the transverse process. You can see a little bit of edema in the subcutaneous soft tissues as well, but again this is super easy to jog right past and without those stirs I would have gone down in flames. Anyway, thank you very much.